Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you tonight. I bless your name tonight. I glorify your name tonight. You are the God that never fails. The God who saves. The God who delivers. The God who heals. The God who breaks every yoke. The God who created the whole universe. And the God who is still doing creative miracles today. Lord, I am praying tonight. Manifest your power. Manifest your glory. Do great, wonderful things in this place tonight in Jesus' name. Things we have never heard of. Things we have never seen. Things we have never known. Miracles we have never ever read about. Tonight, do it. Tonight, do it. Tonight, do it. Glorify your name tonight. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. We're looking at Mark chapter 7. And I'm reading from verse 37. Mark chapter 7, verse 37. And were beyond measure astonished. Saying he has done all things well. They were surprised. Tonight, God will surprise you with a miracle. They said, we never thought of that. We never read of that. We never heard of that in our lives. They were surprised. They were amazed. It says they were beyond measure astonished. And it was saying he has done all things well. That was at the end of the prayer. He has done all things well. At the end of the final amen. He has done all things well. At the conclusion of that meeting that day. He has done all things well. That was at the end. At the beginning when they came. When they were coming on the way. When they were carrying their load. Load you can see. Load you cannot see. When they were coming with their body. As they were coming on the way. They were saying he can do all things well. When they were making publicity. He can do all things well. They saw a blind man. He can do all things well. And they saw the lame. They said, he can, he can. He can do all things well. They saw the one who had been pregnant for three years, four years, and has not delivered. They said, come, come. He can do all things well. They saw the people that were oppressed, that were afflicted, the people that were being tormented. They said, come, he can, he can do all things well. As they came, and they saw other people, and they saw that one giving testimony. This happened to me. That happened to me. That happened to me. They changed from he can. Instead of saying he can do all things well, there was hope in their hearts, expectation in their soul. They were saying he will do all things well. This my yoke, he will break my yoke. He will do all things well. I see one blind man there. 
they had hope in that he will do all things well. He can. He will. And then the meeting began. They were hearing the word of God. As they were hearing the word of God, faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Looks like tonight is my night. They were telling themselves, it looks like tonight is my night. He can, he will. He can, he will. The God of all possibilities. He can, he will. And then the message finished. And then it came now the time of prayer. As they began to pray, all of a sudden, I feel something in my body. All of a sudden, there's something happening in my head. All of a sudden, the leg that was weak before looks like strength, power, might is coming there. They were still closing their eyes. It's like oppression is going on. I said oppression is going on. And then we'll say, in Jesus' name we pray. At the final, amen. A lame man there jumped up. A blind man there began to see. Someone there, one leg shorter than the other, the short leg grew out. The other one they brought in chains. They said, why did they chain me? Lose me. I am okay. And so everybody, right, center, and left, instead of saying he can, instead of saying he will, they said he has done all things well. After the final amen tonight, I'm talking to somebody there. After the final amen tonight, I'm looking for somebody there. After the final amen tonight, I'm looking for that man whose head is making noise. It's like the deep pounded yam inside your head. After the final lament tonight, your language will turn around. He can do all things well. He will do all things well. The language now is he has done all things well. Somebody has a testimony there tonight. Somebody has a testimony there tonight. Tonight, we're going to look at the word of God. Great possibilities in the God of all power. Great possibilities in the God of all power. He says, I am God, I change not. He opened the Red Sea. He will open your way tonight. He says, I'm God, I change not. He sent his word and he healed him. The word is coming to you tonight, it will kill you. He says, I'm the God, I change not. He saved them. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord, all that is within me. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities. Who healeth all thy diseases. Tonight is that night. Total blessing. Complete blessing. Entire blessing. He has done all things well. Great possibilities tonight. In your life, great possibilities tonight. On that child you brought, great possibilities tonight. 
in that incurable, unsurmountable problem, great possibilities tonight. I'm going to give you one, two, three points. After those three points, we talk to the God of heaven who answers prayer. And tonight, when you hear the final amen, you open your eyes to check up, a miracle is right there. Number one, the provision of healing for the sick. The provision of healing for the sick. Do you know that tonight you are getting healed? You cannot escape healing tonight. Healing is looking for you already. Miracle looking for you already. You are healed in Jesus' name. Number one, the provision of healing for the sick. Number two, this one is compound composite blessing. One, two, three, all bound together. Point number two. Peace, purity, and power over all sins. All that storm inside your heart. All the unrest inside your heart. Worry and anxiety in your heart. There's so much sin, there's so much guilt, there's so much condemnation. Pardon, forgiveness, removal of sin is coming your way tonight. I thought I was saved, but my heart is impure. My life is dirty. There was a day I thought I gave my life to Christ. But I don't understand. I don't have victory. Purity is coming your way tonight. Little temptation comes like this, even almost like a feather. And once they do it like this, I am down on my face. I cry, I pray, I will never, I will never do that again, but the power to live a victorious, conquering life, that's what I miss. I thank God you are here tonight. There is power coming from the throne of God. The very hedge and the very power of that sin, it will shatter it away from your life. The victory of a saved soul, the conquering spirit of a saved soul, the power to live a victorious life, that the Lord will speak to you and say, Go and sin no more. It's coming your way tonight. Peace, purity, and power over all your sins. Number three, the power over Satan and evil spirits. You are blessed tonight. I said you are blessed tonight. Tonight is the night of a breakthrough in your life. We come to the God of all possibilities. Able to do all things. Able to break every yoke. Able to heal your sicknesses. Look at what the word of God says. The provision of healing for the sick. Tonight, the name of Jesus is here. The power of the Lord Jesus is here. One word, your sicknesses are gone. One word, all those incurable diseases, they go. And they will never return again in Jesus' name. 
I'm reading to you from Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8 verse 7. And Jesus says unto him, I will come and heal him. Jesus is here today. He's saying the same thing. His promises never change. His power has not changed. He told that centurion, I will come and heal him. And he comes to tell you tonight, I will come and heal you. He says he will come and heal you. In verse 8, the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. But speak the word only. Speak the word only. That's the word you are hearing now. Speak the word only. And my servant shall be healed. My servant shall be healed. The word of power is coming to you tonight. The word of faith is coming to you tonight. The word of authority is coming to you tonight. The word only. There are some people that say, is it only the word? They won't press the hand on me. I won't fall under anointing. I will not drink holy water. They will not sprinkle oil on me. Only word, only word. You don't understand. The word that created the whole world. When God said, let there be and there was. You don't understand. The word that heals the sick is sent his word and healed them. And he took all the destructions away. Speak the word only. That's what we have been doing. Speaking the word only. Blind eyes are opening. Speaking the word only. The lame, they're rising up and walking. Speaking the word only. The deaf, they are hearing. The, in the meetings we have gone. In the deaf and dumb class. As we speak the word. One of those uh, deaf and dumb people, I can hear, I can hear. As he came out and gave testimony. While he went to sit down. Another one in the deaf and dumb class. I can hear you. Me too, I can speak. A lady 22 years of age and was born deaf and dumb. The word entered into her. Deaf ears opened. Dumb tongues became loosed. She counted, counted, counted. And when we said that's enough, when I say counted, not just one, two, three, went on beyond ten, went on until that. We said that's enough. And then when we took the microphone from her, she took the microphone again and began to sing. Send the word. The word is coming to you. Tonight is bringing healing. Tonight is bringing power. Tonight it will break every yoke in your life in Jesus' name. Speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. Look at verse 16. When the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. Not a few, they brought many possessed with devils. And the people that were possessed, he said, and he cast out the spirits with his word. That same word is coming to you tonight. And that word will drive every evil spirit, every evil power, drive it away from your life in Jesus' name. 
There is power in the word of Jesus. Power in the name of Jesus. Power in the blood of Jesus. Everything will combine together tonight. It will bring healing upon you. And it says in that verse 16, and he healed all that were sick. That it may be fulfilled which was spoken by Zeus the prophet, saying, Himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. The provision of healing for the sick. The Lord has provided it for you, for me, for everyone today. That's why he says in Mark chapter 16, verse 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Signs will follow tonight. Sign of healing. Sign of deliverance. Sign of salvation. Is coming upon your life. I said it's coming upon your life. Number two. Peace. Pardon. Purity and power. You know, tonight, as the word is coming unto you, we're talking about the God of all possibilities. There are some people, they do not understand the power of God. They say something like leaves that they grind together. And then they roll it together with paper. They say that thing. I think they call it cigarette or cigar or some, whatever. They roll that thing together. And then they put it in the mouth. And they put fire there. They say that thing is their master. And that they do not have power to drop that little thing. They roll together. And that no matter what they do, they go to church, they read Bible, they fast, they do lunch, they do Christmas, they do whatever. That little sin is in their mouth and they cannot, they cannot drop it. Tonight there is power. It will blow that sin out of your mouth. I mean, some people, they say they are Christians. I say, what kind of Christian are you? I say, spell the word Christian. Even the beginning, the C of the Christian, they turn it to this side. Or they turn it, I said, look at you, this is the kind of Christian you are. They say they are Christians. There is something inside the bottle. The color is like the color of your urine. That thing that has the color of urine, they say, Pastor, my problem is once I see this colored urine, I lose my head. I say, but you say you are a Christian. Pastor, I'm a Christian, but it is that thing inside the bottle that is my trouble tonight. I congratulate you. There is power here tonight. Yeah. Number one, he will forgive your sin. Every sin you ever committed, whether it is bottle, urine inside bottle, or it is uh, paper and leaf inside, whatever, the Lord will say, there is pardon, there is peace, you can go free. All those things you put on your waist, they put, uh, they put charcoal, they put lizard, they put cockroach, and they 
bond them together and put inside and say, this will protect you. Something that cannot protect that lizard when he was alive is when that lizard now is dead and is born and is put inside that thing that will protect you. Today, you will remove that thing, throw it away, and God will forgive you. There is pardon, there is peace. And then there is purity. You know when our mothers, our wives, when they wash that plate and the plate is clean, there is no stain, everything is white. If our wives, our mothers can wash the plate like that, the plate like that, Jesus will take the soap of heaven and the blood of Calvary. Join them together and wash your heart. You'll be whiter than snow. Uh, look at uh, you know some of these uh, people they are running and as you see them running you are wondering if i can run like me if i run 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 once i run from there to here i will be breathing like this as if i'm going to give up then you call them you say, how is it you are so strong and powerful like this? You run and run and run and run. And then, me, if I do one quarter of that, I'll be like, wait for me, please. Ah, they say there's a little thing. They call it peel. They say, it's like this. Once I swallow that seed, I'm telling you, I will feel strong. I can run from here to that place. That's the appeal. There's another pill. I said there's another pill. They call it God's pill. God's pill. Is the two words God's peel they put together and call gospel? Once you swallow that gospel tonight, I'm talking about power. You will run, you will not be weary. You will walk, you will not fade. There is peace, there is pardon. There is purity. There is power. Are you looking for that? I said, do you want it? I said, do you want it tonight? Praise the Lord. It's coming your way in Jesus' name. He will forgive your sin. He will set you free. All the chains and all the yokes of sin that bind you tonight is the night of your freedom. You too, you will say, praise the Lord, I am free. Uh, but what you have something to do. Look at Isaiah chapter 55. Isaiah chapter 55. I'm reading from verse 6 and from verse 7. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he's near. Let the wicked forsake his way. The smoker forsake his way. The drunkard forsake his way. The juju man forsake his juju. The idol worshiper forsake the idol. The liar forsake his lying. The evil doer forsake the evil. Let the wicked forsake his wickedness. He says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord. It's like you've gone, 
you take that away, you throw that away, you throw that away, then you return unto the Lord. You say, Lord, no more of that. All the wickedness, no more. All the evil, no more. All the juju, no more. All the idol of twins, uh, back one and put one there, no more. Then you return unto the Lord. See what he said he will do. Once you say, God, I come to you. All those bad, bad things, no more. He says, he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. I see forgiveness coming your way tonight. I see pardon coming your way tonight. I see the peace of God coming to you tonight. Because you forsake those evil things. You say, Lord, I come. Lord, I come. And the Lord will forgive and pardon you in Jesus' name. What can wash my sins away? Tell me. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Tell me. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. That blood flowing from the mountain, from the fountain of Calvary. That comes on your soul, on your spirit. Washes you, purges you, cleanses you. You will never be the same again. And then Jesus says, behold, I stand at the door of your heart. I am knocking. If anyone, anyone, he never rejects anyone. That's why I see you receiving Christ tonight. He's knocking at the door of your heart. And he says, if anyone hears my voice and he opens the door, I, Christ, the victorious one, I, Christ, the mighty Savior. I, Christ, the powerful shepherd. I will come in to him and sup with him, supper with him, fellowship with him. And then he will keep you by his power. You will not be falling and rising, falling and rising anymore. Tonight, the blood of Jesus will wash you whiter than snow. The blood of Jesus will cleanse you, purge you, purify you. The blood of Jesus will cleanse you so completely, you'll be whiter than snow. Am I talking about somebody there? I said somebody there is going to receive that pardon. Somebody there is going to receive that peace of mind. Somebody there is going to get purified from sin. And the power of Christ will walk in your life. And he will say, go and sin no more. Victory. Victory. What are you? Victory. Victory. You have it tonight in Jesus' name. First John chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 7. First John chapter 1 verse 7. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light. We have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ his son cleanseth us from all sin. Tonight is that night. I said tonight is that night. 
and you are the candidate for that salvation tonight. Heaven has remembered you. God has remembered you. The Savior has remembered you. Tonight, that salvation will not miss you. You will not miss it. I said you will not miss it. Number one, the provision of healing. Number two, the peace and the pardon. The purity and the power over all sin. Number three, the power over Satan and evil spirits. The power over Satan and evil spirits. Satan torments people. Evil spirits torment people. Torments them in the head. Then makes them run mad. Torments them, gives them epilepsy or convulsion. Torments them walking all about in their body. But tonight Christ has come to set you free. I said tonight Christ has come to set you free. Do you see that goat? They said that the goat went there to eat their maize. The goat went there to eat their yam. It is the same goat and he went to eat uh, their cassava. Even when it is not that goat, they are very labeled that goat. They said, this goat is the one that is eating every good thing in this community. They catch that goat. And then they tie that goat around the pole. The goat is well no headache no pain in his stomach there's no pain at the back only that the goat is tied to the pole because they think it is that goat that is eating every yam every cassava every maize in our community i'm talking about you they thought you are the one that is spoiling their business. They thought you are the one disorganizing their family. They said they saw you in the dream. They said they saw you in another place. So they came. They took that invisible called invisible role. You are not sick in your stomach. You are not sick in your head. You're not sick in your bone. You go to the hospital, they say, you are good and perfect. But they tie you down. Although you feel well in your body, you cannot make progress. You, you are not free to move about. You are not free to do whatever you want. You cannot eat whatever you want. If you eat this one, your cheek will swell up. If you drink this one, your tummy will swell up. You go to the hospital. You say, doctor, doctor, I am suffering. They say, okay, come. They put you before that machine. They look at everything. The doctor said, you are normal. Everything is all right. Say, but how am I like this? That thing that their machine cannot see, Jesus has seen it tonight, he will break it away from your life. If they tied you down with that invisible rope and with that cord, and you are just parambulating and going around. Only one spot tonight, freedom and liberty has come unto you. Every stronghold in your life, I pull them down tonight. All the yoke and all the cause of no progress, tonight is the end of those Egyptians in your life.
you will do well. I said you will do well. You will make progress. I come tonight with the power of the Holy Ghost. And that thing that ties you there, walking about in your body, knocking your head, as if they want to run you mad. Tonight, freedom has come to you in Jesus' name. Here is what Jesus said in John chapter 8. John chapter 8. And I'm reading from verse 36. John chapter 8 verse 36. If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. If the Son shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. You will feel the release in your body tonight. All the things that bind you, all the things that want to destroy you, they want to run your mental. As if you should just remove your clothes and run out. There is peace in your heart, in your soul tonight. You're free. I said you're free. There is an anointing that breaks every yoke. That anointing is here tonight. We're going to take it step after step. One, two, three. Your sicknesses will go. Your sin will go. The evil spirits will go. For the first time in many years, there will be peace in your soul. There will be freedom in your spirit. Healing and health in your body. You will feel the power inside you. You will say, let that temptation come now. Let that sin try to knock at my door now. I will tell them I've gone to that place and Jesus gave me power over every evil thing. Somebody there tonight, where are you? Somebody there tonight, where are you? I said, somebody there tonight, where are you? Why don't you stand up? This is the day in your life. You have come to meet the God of all possibilities. You have come to meet the God of all power. He wants to settle that same problem to start with. He wants to forgive you. No more guilt. No more condemnation. No more weakness. No more falling and rising. He wants to strengthen your soul. Strengthen your spirit. He wants to make you victorious tonight. Praise the Lord. The time of forgiveness has come. The time of forgiveness has come. This is your time. I said this is your time. You're having that forgiveness right now. Anywhere, wherever you are, wherever you are, if you want that peace of mind, if you want that power over sin, that the blood of Jesus will wash you and cleanse you. He will purge and purify you. He will set you free from sin. Free. 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 Alcohol will not be your master anymore. Cigarette will not be your controller anymore. That charm, that charcoal will not be on your body anymore. You will belong to Jesus completely. All the evil things in your life, wickedness in your life, you say, Jesus, today I surrender. Jesus, today I surrender. I give myself to you. Forgive me. Change my life. Cleanse me. Wash me. Make me different. 
and give me the power of the victorious life. In Jesus' name we pray. If you want that forgiveness, if you want that pardon and peace of God in your soul, if you want that purity in your heart, you want the power to be victorious over sin, wherever you are, this is the day of good news for you. You raise up your hand. You raise up your hand. Say, yes, Lord, I am here. I want forgiveness. I want pardon. I want peace of mind. I want to be victorious over sin in my life. I'm inviting Jesus to come into my heart. I'm inviting Jesus to come into my heart. Jesus, I am here. Where are you? Raise up your hand. If you want Jesus to come in, you want Jesus to change your life, you want Jesus to forgive you, peace, peace, pardon, purity, power over all those things. Raise up your hand, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your grace, thank you for your love, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for the invitation you have given to everyone to come and receive salvation. To come and receive forgiveness. To come and have peace of mind. To come and be cleansed and be washed and be purged. To come so that you have power over all those terrible sins. Lord, they have come. Forgive them in Jesus' name. Set them free. Set them free. Break the power of that sin away from their lives in Jesus' name. Give them assurance in their heart that you have received them. That you have forgiven them. That you have saved them. And Lord, I pray the grace to continue in the Lord victoriously. Grant to every one of them. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. That time has come. Healing is going to take place now. Your deliverance is coming your way right now. Miracle. Where are you? I said miracle is coming upon you in Jesus' name. Now, raise up your hand. You lay the other hand where you on yourself where you have the problem. And get ready. That miracle is coming right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because you have assured us that you are God and you change not. Lord Jesus, we thank you for that name. There is power in your name. Mighty power in your name. And you are the same yesterday, today and forever. Lord, I pray at this very time, manifest that power in Jesus' name. That spirit of insanity. I command you right now. Come out in Jesus' name. Epilepsy, I command you. Be healed in Jesus' name. All those evil spirits, evil past tormenting your body. Walking about in your body, tormenting your brain, tormenting your head. I command those evil spirits right now. Come out in Jesus' name. All the things that press you down in the night, 
that personality coming between you and your husband or your wife. You evil spirit, evil personality. I command you right now. Come out in Jesus' name. That evil spirit, evil personality that stays in that body, causing torment, causing pain, causing all those evil things, I give you the commandment right now. By the authority of the name of Jesus, come out in Jesus' name. All those who have swelling in their body, any part of your body, on the neck, at the back, in the head, in the tummy, any fantasies in your legs, and that thing that is swelling in that part of your body, I command right now, come out in Jesus' name. That fibroid, I command you, melt away right now. Come out in Jesus' name. That pile, I command you, be removed right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Cancer, the end has come. I command that disease of cancer. With the hardness and the swelling there. With the pain over there. Right now at this time. By the power of the Holy Ghost. And the authority of the name of Jesus. Cancer be healed in Jesus name. Also, I command you, be healed right now. Let there be the soothing feeling in that place right now in Jesus' name. Fever, whatever, all the sickness, eternal, causing pain, I command right now, be healed in Jesus' name. All those who have arthritis in their joints, arthritis on your knee, arthritis in your elbow, arthritis any part of your body, the part of the body you cannot move, you cannot bend. I send for the word of power to you right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for the people that are paralyzed. Or having stroke or one leg shorter than the other i send for the power of god on your body rise up and walk in jesus name those blind eyes the time has come for you to see glaucoma i command you be clear the way right there Cataract, be cleansed away right there. Blind eyes, receive your sight in Jesus' name. Dim eyes, receive your sight in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for everyone right here now. On the right, on the left, at the center, in front, everywhere. Receive your healing. Receive your miracle. Receive your deliverance. You are healed in Jesus' name. You are delivered in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you. Confirm your words in their lives. Confirm the healing in their body. Confirm that deliverance right now. Thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. And everybody said, Praise the Lord, you got it. Praise the Lord, you got it. 
Praise the Lord, you got it. You will check up where the pain was before. The pain is no more there. You'll check up now. If you were blind before, you can open your eyes and see now. If you were lame, you can rise up and walk. If you brought anybody deaf and dumb, you can speak to them now. They will hear, they will speak. Anything you couldn't do before, the power is released on you. Do it now. Just check up yourself. And you will testify tonight. You tell us your name. And where you came from. And go straight to the point. What happened to you tonight? What were you suffering from? And what God did in your life tonight? Hallelujah. Lati <laughs> Praise the Lord. Our brother is Latifu Efeso from Oderema. He has three striking testimonies tonight. The Lord, through the prayer of our pastor, has healed his chest pain. And secondly, also, uh, he had an accident about uh, some times ago, and everybody knows about it. Now, the leg that, uh, that uh, where he has problem has been totally healed, and he can run now. And the third thing is that uh, he has been smoking and drinking before. About five months ago, the Lord has delivered him completely from drinking and smoking. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We will hear your own testimony too. I said we will hear your own testimony too. Praise the Lord. My name is Mrs. Jacob. And here is my sister's son. Before he could not walk very well because one of the leg was shorter than the other. One of the leg was shorter than the other. So tonight I invited him to the program. And as we have, the pastor mentioned this case for the, those that their legs were shorter than the other, and kept on telling him that he should keep praying. And my brother said, I want you to help me to thank God that he can now walk very well. The leg that could not stretch before can now stretch, and both of them are now equal. Praise the Lord! Huh? Can, can he, praise the, Can he talk by himself? Can you speak English? Yes. Tell us. We are about to run around. What's Tell that? us. Yes. This, my leg, I'm, I've not been able to stand very well. When I'm standing, I'll not be, my, what, the, leg, the leg pain in me will be up. But now I can stand very well. For more than 10 years, I could not do the, I could not stand very well. Praise the Lord. Is it only standing that you could not and do I very could, well? And before, when I'm walking, I usually bend. When walking. Can you walk now so that we can see you? Yes. Sir. Walk and let us see you. Praise the Lord. Thank you. God bless you. I want to be seen. Nobody will stop the bad run. Now, shall I? Oh, by who's son? As an open bar, I'm also still in that by a hallelujah. The seemingly impossible has been made possible by the God of all. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Your name? My name. 
Mama, we have only one God and one Christ, Master. Musa, I John Shamora, I walk around and shout, "Mommy, Mama, we the church we are in. We talk about joy, faith, your Lord, and you can share." Asha, Osha, we go, Misha. Ewo, Eko, you see what you, Emma, we what you learn here. We are in faith, money, faith, your Lord, and you can share. Only learn in motor today, oh, money, what they mean, eh? Back on Sasha, oh yeah. Musa, hmm, hmm, she back on tele. Only mommy knew he did my job, but I Money. I just put me in the wash of what she sells. Some more. My daughter for more in here. Money where I could sing or tell on all the show. Money to the pay along the celestial and on Shea. No money, Tim Barry, Yan, when you touch me, my daughter.